Hey you guys, it's P, the Sagittarian Goddess. My name is Portia and I will be doing your reading today. Welcome Aries to your reading. Welcome Aries to your reading. How are you today? I hope wherever you are in the world that you are prosperous. I'm feeling your fire already, Aries. So I'm going to tap into your past, present, and energy going forward. In the past, you have the Four of Crystals. In the present, you have the Seven of Feathers. Okay. In... In the future, you have the Knight of Shales. Looks like you're trying to do a freaking balancing act here. In the past with the Four of Crystals, I am getting that you could have been self-sabotaging your friendships and relationships. Just wanting to be in control all the time. That's definitely your energy. When you're operating from a lower vibration or when you're not as self-aware. And that's okay. I'm going to clarify that. And in your present energy, you have the seven of feathers. This is air energy. And it looks like you are getting ready to go somewhere. Maybe you're traveling to visit family or for a job. Some of you all could want to be an actor actor actress i'm getting actor actress just a perf performer you could perform uh going forward you have the knight of shells looks like you are taming your your fire in the future like you're not putting that fire out by any means but you are becoming you know more emotional more aware of your emotions going forward I see you attract attracting people. You could you could be a, an an attractive person. I'm getting you could be a very attractive, physically physically attractive fit. You could work out going forward. So I'm going to clarify these cards. Aries, thank you so much, Spirit, for these messages for Aries. Four crystals. Four crystals. interference <laughs> definitely had some control issues in the past definitely you know wanted to be the star of the show that's what i'm getting some of you could be actors actresses you could be performers but in your relationships i'm getting you just just control issues wanted to be in control you're the partner you was you was with you could have attracted someone who who didn't allow you to be yourself and you were trying to You were trying to be yourself. It could have been a push-pull. It could have been a push-pull between you and this person. One, one control. You could have been with a, another fire sign. Or oh, an earth sign. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. You could have earth in your chart. You could have Aries in your chart. Seven of Feathers. Ten of Repletion. You're, you're definitely preparing to do something. You're taking steps to get ready for something. Something that you've been uh, working on or planning. Looks like you actually took the time to, to plan something instead of like jumping head first into it. That's good. That's good. It's good that you're letting go of some of those control issues. You're looking away from, from this. Looks like you want harmony going forward. Maybe you, you had a reputation to clear up. Maybe you did something and it was in the public eye I'm getting. Even if it's local, you know, in, in your in your city, hometown, town area that you that you live in. It could have been something that happened. Maybe you didn't control your emotions or uh you had an, an, an angry outburst in the past. You have to fix that. So now you're looking for harmony going forward. And people are going to see that that you worked on yourself. It looks like you're preparing 
preparing for something. You're preparing to show up as your new self. You're looking, you're looking forward to the future. Let me get that card. Knight of Shells. Mother of Earth. Yeah. You are looking to learn your lessons. You are learning your lessons. You're going to learn you learn your lessons. Lessons moving moving forward. Very wise. I'm, I'm hearing you, you have some growing up to do. Like these control you have some growing up to do. See this grandmother on here? She's been around a while. And in your present energy and your future energy, like you're looking forward to that. It's like you're welcoming in wisdom. You're welcoming in advice from others. That can be hard for an Aries to do is to take advice from other people. Aries is represented by the first the first house in astrology. This is self, okay? You could have been full of yourself. You could have attracted someone in your past that was just like you, that was full of themselves, and y'all could have had control issues. Like, who's going to win this argument? I'm getting. Who's going to win this argument? Me, the Aries. You could have been in competition with your with your partner. That's never healthy. It's never healthy to be in competition with your partner unless you're competing in how much you can intentionally care for one another and uh, support one another. And it looks like it may have been, it may have come from operating from a lower vibration. Or you may have not, in, in the past, you may have not gotten a lot of attention in your childhood. I'm getting, you didn't get a lot of attention. Maybe you. Maybe you were um, one of five children, five or more children, four or more children. So your parents or your parents or your guardian had to, they had to um, share share themselves. <clears throat> and with you being, being an Aries, you know, as a child, you needed that uh, reassurance that you were special and that you... You know, you need a guidance as an Aries. An Aries is a baby sign, so an Aries needs a lot of guidance. And they can be very uh, quick to jump jump to things. Fire. This is cardinal energy, so quick to take the lead. You know, not really thinking about, not really thinking about the consequences of things. You could have lacked some guidance because, you know, you were, it, it, you just had siblings. You could have been in foster care where it was, where it was other children, you know, that needed that needed uh, security and, you know, maybe you felt like you didn't get enough. And maybe that's why you pursue performing, you know, to share your stories. I, I see you sharing your stories and sharing your wisdom. Like you're looking forward to that. That's something that you don't want to, that's the energy you do not want to be in. I'm getting, that's the energy that you, you're not in, you're not interested anymore. You're not interested in uh, being immature. I'm getting you're not interested in an immature love. So I'm going to clarify the Eight of Interference card with the Four of Crystals for you, Aries. That's yeah. I'm going to clarify the four crystals and the eight of interference for you. Something was definitely standing your your way. Looks like yourself or, you know, just being self-absorbed. Those are the type of relationships that you can attract. Just as an Aries in general, you could attract self-absorbed people. You could attract your mirror, your lower vibration, you know, you bring out the worst in, in yourself and in others. So the four crystals and the eight of interference is clarified by the three of acorns. Fire. Yeah. It's look like you're above this now. This giraffe, like you're above this. You're above this now. Like you see. You see that it didn't, it didn't, it didn't serve you to be in this energy or to have this energy around you. You could have wanted a, a large family. You could want a large, or you could have a large family yourself. You could have three or four kids. You know, you could have a large family. 
I want to clarify the seven of feathers with the ten of repletion for you, Aries. Thank you so much, Spirit. <clears throat> In your present energy, you have the three of crystals. I definitely see you working with others. I see you preparing for something. You're preparing to meet with someone or to go somewhere. I'm getting go somewhere. You're literally traveling somewhere. Maybe you have an audition, an interview, but it's, it involves multiple people. Yeah, collaboration. Yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah. It's some things that you have to, you have to correct before you can receive this blessing that's coming. You have you have to gain some wisdom. You have to learn a lesson from this. You're learning it now and you're taking it with you, you know, to help you on your journey, to help in your career. This is this has a lot to do with your career, Aries. I see. This has a lot to do with your career and with your community. Your community, your community will think highly of you. Because of these changes you made within yourself. Like you don't have to, you know, blast it all everywhere. People will see the changes that you make. People will see. People will see your growth. You don't you don't have to ex explain yourself. You're not gonna do that. You don't you don't have to explain yourself or anything. You just need to be yourself. You learned the lesson, and now you're taking that with you and you're going to have better behavior going from I'm getting better behavior. Better behavior. Maybe maybe you got arrested in the past. Police got involved or maybe you got into a fight because of this control issue. I said something happened in the public eye, but now you're 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 needing to you're needing to basically make amends with with your community. I'm getting you could have been, been a high head. I'm getting high head. You could have um just, just been one of those people in the community that maybe got in trouble a lot growing up, looking for attention elsewhere, looking for attention. But now you're you're headed to get good, good attention. This is actually good att attention. It's going to make you prosperous. You're you're able to do your passions. I'm getting I'm getting actor, actress, performer. Like someone you could have a platform or, or or you know have TikTok or YouTube or something. I'm just getting something in the public eye. Like people people are able to see when you mess up, basically. And you don't like that. You don't like that. And and you know, it's it's not that you care about what other people think, but you do care about what other people think, Aries. You are the baby son. And it's nothing wrong with being the baby son. You learn a lot from other people. So you're realizing that you need your community. Like you need you need the wise woman. You you need stability. You need the wise woman to look forward to. You need someone who can tell you, you know, this is an issue. I'm getting you could have been close to your grandmother, your grandmother passed. And I don't know where that came from, but I just feel like maybe you were close to your your grandmother, your grandmother, your grandmother passed, but she she's like guiding you in the future. Like she she's been there. Like you can still hear, hear her voice. I want to clarify the Knight of Shells with the Mother of Earth for Aries. You have Eight of Feathers. Solutions. Yeah, you are definitely like spiritually uh, protected. Like your ancestors and your your spirit guides know that you didn't always make the best decisions, but they still have your back. Like they they forgive you because they see that that you realize it. Like like you you learn your lesson from this. Like this is this is your past. Is you're above this. You're above this. Like you're moving on. You're moving on um, peacefully. Look at this flamingo. Like. Like your emotions are are becoming more stable. You're able to share your like you're sharing your gifts with other people. You respect older people now. I'm getting that you respect the el the elderly now. Maybe you didn't have respect for the elderly. Or maybe you had a conflict with with an elderly person, your your grandmother, your grandfather in the past, and now you're you're thinking about what they said and 
you know, their wisdom. And now you appreciate that, I'm getting. You appreciate that now? You appreciate their guidance? Maybe you, you didn't listen in the past. You high head? I'm getting high head. You didn't listen. You didn't listen in the past, but now you understand why the advice was given to you in the past and how it is helping helping you now. And like you're using that to go forward. Like you're basically using using your ancestry, your roots. It, lo it looks like your roots to move forward and to help guide you. Mother Earth, like your your home life, mother figure. That's really good. That's really good. Aries. That's really good. You growing up, Aries. I'm proud. My fellow fire sign. So I'm going to um, get more on this career for you because it looks like you could be a performer in... I want to pull a card for you. The distance. You're definitely looking out into the distance. You're not really thinking about... It's like you let this teach you. You're not really thinking about this anymore. Like, this isn't you anymore. It's like you done shed it, shed it that skin off. Like, what is this? Get this shit off. It's like that type of energy. Like, that's not, that's not me. Like, this is me. This is me. Like, look at me. I'm beautiful. Look at me. Look at me. I'm in harmony. Look at me. You know, I am. And that's the soul Aries energy. Look at me. It's like, look at me. And you inspire people with that energy, that, that confidence. Like, you have the confidence going forward. Like, not just because of your good looks or because of, you know, your talents, but because of your heart now. It's like now. Not only, not only do I have the looks, not only do I have the skills and the gifts, but now my heart is aligned with that. So now people are actually going to, to, to love to see you perform, love to see you coming. They're going to love to see you coming because you're wise now and you've done the work and you're looking out into the distance. You're looking at the longevity of things and not like in the now and like reacting like you, you don't even recognize this anymore. Like, like what is this? I'm getting what is this? Like, oh, what is that? So I'm gonna clarify the distance card for you. And with the distance card, you guys, you see these boats sitting. You see these boats sitting on, on the on the shore. And in the back, you have buildings and stuff. It's like you're not paying attention to the boats, but you're looking at the buildings. But you're on the dock. It's like you're on the dock, but you're it's like you it's like you're here, but you want to be somewhere else. And that that is the energy I'm getting. Like you're looking to be somewhere else. You're looking for greater. Like you're looking for greater. And your ancestors are like literally like guiding you. Like I'm really feeling like a grandmother, like a grandmother or motherly figure, aunt, aunt or older female relative, like could have really played an impact in your life Aries like had a profound impact on your your destiny like guiding you like in in the right direction the distance card is clarified the ace of acorns that is your energy Aries the ace you're definitely in your fire in, in element look at this you're you're in your you're in your fire element like you have the confidence, literally. This is a confidence card. You have the confidence. This is you. Like, you have the confidence going going forward. You have the confidence going forward. Creative force. You are a performer. I don't know what you do. I don't know what you do, but you do something in front of people. You do something in front of people and now it's not just a performance. It's coming from like a place of like wisdom, like the, like your performance is, I, I, you're, you're preparing for something, a show. You could be in a band, you could, something, I don't know, you, just in front of, I see, just see people, community, 
people watching you and you love for people to watch you. You love to inspire people by being yourself and showing up as yourself. And you're getting to do that. But now you're getting to do that with good intentions. With good and pure intentions. So I'm going to get into your self-care messages from Spirit. Thank you so much, Spirit. What does Aries need to do for self-care at this time? Tell me about the past with self-care. What does Aries need to do for self-care? Live in the moment. Something that you wasn't doing. Or maybe you were doing it a little too much. As far as having control issues. But that's something that you definitely need to do. Is live in the moment. In a positive way. Live in the moment. Whatever whatever dispute or misunderstanding that you could have with someone, it normally does not last as long as not having that dispute or misunderstanding. Think about that. It normally does not last as long. Normally, what lasts the longest is not having that disagreement. But if you get caught up in wanting control... You could make those moments last. You could you could hold grudges. You had you had the tendency to hold grudges in the past, I feel, when you should have been living in the moment. So that's something you need to make sure that you do going forward is to live in the moment in a healthy way, which you are doing. Break the sweat. Break a sweat. You performing, like you dancing or something. I don't know. You're you're Aries, you're doing something. Congratulations. I mean, congratulations. Whatever you're doing, it looks like you're sweating. It looks like you're moving around. Maybe you're walking from here and there, going place to place, meeting a meeting. I don't know what you're, you're doing what you love. And people are inspired by it because they see your intentions. You have good intentions. You good hearted person. It's like you got it out the mud. You have to learn the hard way. Being hard headed, being high headed. It's like you, you you're getting the you're getting respect now. At first, you you might have tr tried to force someone to respect you, but now you don't have to force it because you are you are you are naturally re respected because of how you carry yourself. Now you carry yourself with confidence. You carry yourself. Um, you have humility in your heart. You have empathy for others. Something that you lacked in the past. Something that you lacked in the past and something that that you didn't get in the past. You you didn't get a lot of empathy, I'm getting. It's hard to it's hard to show and be something that, that you're not used to being around. So you could have like carried some of those traits into your adult life, like you know, not understanding empathy, not being able to empathize with other people. Good for you, Eric. And in the future, you have limit exposure. Limit exposure. So I definitely feel like you are like in the spotlight. Like you you are doing something in front of people. You are doing something in front of people. It's certain things that you, you're not going to be able to do. It's certain things that you're not going to be able to do when you get to this. It's, it's, it's a certain way you're going to have to carry yourself and you know that. It doesn't mean you're being fake. It doesn't mean you're not being real and authentic and being your true self. It just means that, you know, in order to show up in the career or in the area in which you're trying to show up, you have to carry yourself a certain way. You have to have a certain level of respect for yourself and for others. So, you you, you know, you may not be able to hang out in certain places. Cause it looks like people could could be watching you. Like people, like everywhere you go, someone knows you. So, like, I mean, not not that you should really care, but what people think. But you do care what people think. Because in the past you didn't really care. So it's like you're trying to make up for that now. And there's nothing wrong with that. Like you're you're learning like to balance balance out self others you know it's like you love yourself but you're 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 able to 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 understand you know what other people are going through now 
And you don't want to give anybody the bad impression because, like I said, in the past, you could have done something in the public eye that could really just set people off and not... People could not have wanted to deal with you. I'm getting people could not have wanted to deal with you. But your changed behavior, like, makes up for that. So I'm going to get into your love messages, Aries. Thank you so much, Spirit, for these messages for Aries. Honeymoon. Yeah, in the past, you, you could have um, been married for a short period of time. I'm getting a year or two. Didn't last long. You could have been in a relationship with another Aries. It says, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. It's like almost almost like when you were supposed to be like enjoying your partner, y'all you may have been arguing with them or having control issues. Like you could have been with someone who was like a lot like you. Like a lot like you. And maybe y'all only made it through the honeymoon phase, like the first year or two, I'm getting. And then it could have just just ended. But you you wanted this. Obviously, you know, you took it that far to, to get married, to get engaged, or to start something serious. Even if you weren't legally married, you you wanted it, but you have you had control issues. It's, it was like your ego was in the way. In the present, you have heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly, honestly discuss your feelings with each other. You have understanding now. That makes so much sense. You you have you have understanding now. So if this relationship didn't work out, you could still be in this relationship and you're looking forward. I'm sure your partner is very happy about, about that change. I'm sure they see that change. But going forward, if you are single and you, you meet someone now, you're able to have those heart-to-heart -heart conversations because you're, you're, you're able to look at what where you went wrong and you're holding yourself responsible for your own actions, I'm getting. That benefits a relationship always. And going forward, you have very soon clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Yeah, you could you could um, attract attract someone while you're performing. You could meet meet someone while you're performing. I'm just getting it's your performer. You're a performer, like an actress. You just see a stage and it's lights or maybe you work somewhere with a stage maybe you work at a bar and you're, you're around music a lot or you know you're you're just in a public eye you work in a place where people are all the time you work in a place where people are all the time people see you all the time so people know you you definitely um have an opportunity for love you, ha you have an opportunity for, I'm getting that a lot of you are single. A lot of you are single right now. You're, you're focused on your career. You're focused on your passions, on do doing things that make you happy. That's good. And you're being divinely guided. You're very wise now. I want to get some astrological aspects of your reading. You have the sun in the past. Yeah, you definitely uh, cared about this connection. I just get you with another fire sign. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, another Aries. And it was just too much fire. Like, y'all could have both been very immature. Just ego. Just both of y'all just in y'all's ego. Gideon could have been a Leo with this sun card. In the present, you have a simple paradise. That's Pisces energy. So yeah, you're 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 being more simple minded. It doesn't have to be. That doesn't have to be bad. It's like you're you're thinking things through, and you see the illusion that that was here in the past. You see that you know you pick your own battles basically, and you pick them. <laughs> You picked them, but you learned from those battles. And more Pisces energy, a happy matter. Something You're preparing for something that's going to be successful coming here soon. Because of the changes you made. 
Like it's going to be successful and you're going to be happy about it. And not only that, your family and your ancestors will be happy about it. Like everybody's going to see this. It's going to be for everyone to see. Like whatever it is, it's not like behind closed doors. Like people see you, like people know you. Like when you walk into a store, like wherever you live, people like know you. People are already like waving at you. I'm getting waving at you. Like people know you. And then now it's like people are like waving at you for a different reason. At first people were waving at you because of your attitude. Like, you know, it it was like, it was like people... People were speaking of you almost out of fear because they didn't know like when you were going to like, you know, go off or whatever, you know, trying to be cordial. But now people are speaking to you because they actually feel comfortable with you. Like they feel like you're an, an idol and uh, a mentor, a mentor. Like I said, you could have been a high head. You could have you know, went to jail or whatever in the past and, you know, now you're out. It, it could go that way. Now you're out and, you know, you have some <laughs> some making up to do in your community. Like, the people in your community know about whatever happened. But now it's like they see, a, like, a, a whole new Aries, like a whole new energy. And it's refreshing. And you like, it looks like you're going to have support in whatever passions you got because your community is backing you up. you already been through a lot. Your community is backing you up through it. That is great, Aries. I hope you all enjoyed this reading. Thank you so much for sticking with me and listening to these messages for you, Aries. I will see you all in the next video.